Okay, Mom. But what do I do with this thing? Where does it go? Put it back where it came from. There's a place for everything, so everything in its place. Hmm. Where is the place for a carbon dioxide molecule? Where did it come from? And how do we get it back? That's where I come in, ma'am. Myself and a few more expert scientists and engineers using high-tech methods, of course. Every time Juliana wants to read her books, she needs light. Electricity powering that light bulb most often comes from fossil fuels, like coal and natural gas. How, you ask? Well, we... Burn it. Burn it. Burn, burn it. it. Burn it. In our nation's power plants, carbon dioxide, or CO2, is what's left over. But too much CO2 in the air warms our climate. Scientists and engineers like myself have constructed a way to keep those molecules out of the air and to put them down under layers and layers and layers and layers and layers of bedrock. At least a kilometer underground, in fact. It's called carbon sequestration. We take the carbon dioxide and store it in the very tiny spaces between grains of rock, deep underground. So, Juliana, if you wouldn't mind passing that to me. Everything in its place. I'll help you put that CO2 back where it belongs. Thanks, Mr. Science Engineering Man. Coming, Mom! Time to put it back.